Scorpios, welcome. It's your January 2022 heart spread read, a love, romance, and relationship reading. It's for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're reading you here, the star, and your person that's on your mind coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. So off to a banging start, you know. I'm sorry I laid this out ahead of time, just how I'm doing right now. Get through the readings. And when I was I'm laying them out, it's like a one, two, three, four, and I'm just thinking as I see this, and it's been, readings have been hard, every one. And I was like, oh my God, it's because I just had a good feeling. As soon as I put the star in the Queen of Pentacles, that's so much a part of the reading, I thought, great. And the first thing I thought was, this is Scorpio's manifesting here. You're a manifester, so speaking to a manifester. With the Seven of Cups on the bottom, though, uh, might be some emotional turmoil, Scorpio, from your recent past. Um, so some sense, um, bleed over or something, uh, into your manifestation. Um, and the person you're manifesting here, um, probably an earth sign. So, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn personality, uh, somebody mature, somebody stable. Um, they know their self-worth, they're fairly self-contained. You, you see, they're kind of facing a wave they're not really facing into the reading neither is the star either so you're also um, operating at a high level you know with the star card someone coming in uh, feeling optimistic feeling you're in control manifesting full-on I think that's the key word so then uh, the way you're feeling about them with the three of pentacles it's one of the most positive cards in the deck to me it's just such a good personal energy of um doing your best, wanting to cooperate, doing your best job, putting your best foot out there, pinnacles, it's sincere, solid energy. Um, so that would be reacting to them with the three of pinnacles, like uh, also could be a feeling of uh, if you're twin flame, like you're the activator, they're the sleeper, a uh, sense that, you know, you have to work with them here. And with them coming in with the Three of Cups, the first thing I didn't think, you know, third party, the first thing I thought was being the Queen of Pentacles, they're loosening up around you. I think it's fantastic. And now with the Star, and that's you, the Three of Pentacles is kind of you reacting to their Queen of Pentacles. So when they approach you, they're, they're a little bit solid, a little more self-contained. You might have this air about them, you know. Um, they're not a fire sign. They're not coming at you, you know, hey, you know, and what's up, and all that, little reserve, little reserve. But when they're around you, they loosen up. They get a little more emotional, a little more fun. But you, at the same time, are being reacting to them, marrying their, their pinnacle here with the three of pinnacles. It's sort of perfect because it comes from a, a place of cooperation. So great. And then the next card I pull uh, is the five card here, and that's your energy of what, your what is your advice from spirit towards this person in this relationship. In the Knight of Wands, it's like, look at the volcano here, it's like, go for it. So I'm thinking like, if you just look at that, it's like, wow, uh, the last two cards, remember the six and uh, seven and eight. <coughs> so, so far so good. And then the eight of Pentacles, the eight of swords is their advice towards you. So they have something to resolve with another, with a third party. But I think the way this is going down is, um, and I also am always trying to think of what, what's the helpful thing that I can say. Honestly, it's like you were a little fuzzy on the emotional end of the manifestation. So you got someone that's a little fuzzy and they got to clear up some stuff uh, emotionally. And it's like, but I believe you, like they would have been in a place of kind of stagnation maybe. And uh, if not stagnation, just stasis, you know, Taurus comes to mind, you got Uranus there, maybe you're the Uranus coming in, <laughs> you know, as the Aquarius card, and you're, you know, uh, breaking up this uh, stasis that they have, you know, they're not wanting to change, and because the first thing I got was like, they really loosen up around you, feel, can feel, it's not exactly feeling more emotional, can be, but just feeling lighter, you know, it's like a 
God, I remember when my progress moon went from Virgo into Libra like that. It just feels so much lighter and easier. And this is a wonderful uh, energy for romance. You know, I can see them being very drawn. And with you coming back with the Three of Pentacles, you're really matching each other there. Just fantastic. So I believe that what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to deal with this. And they didn't. They don't want to deal with it. This is like Spirit saying, I know you don't want to be in this Eight of Swords energy. You don't want to have to go down and get into this. Uh, they may have gone through it before. And, but there's something needs to be finished uh, from the past. Now, this is the advice from Spirit, Seven of Swords. So think in general, strategic thinking. So this is uh, not about lying, cheating, and stealing. It's meaning as you guys come together, there's going to be a necessity for strategic thinking. And I think you're basically being asked to take the lead here with the Knight of Wands um, in terms of action. Like you literally... Scorpio, and this I think is a perfect job for you. They may need to talk to you here, really open. Like they might be saying to you, "Here's the deal. Uh, my ex is an ex Navy SEAL, and he's crazy, and he's sworn to kill anybody that I get with." And you, just as an example, you really got to sit down and figure out like what's our move here because you know we want to be together, but we don't want the ex Navy SEAL to kill me and. Uh, something like this where it's, it can get kind of involved. and But I feel like it, it, it's really going to be the truth. And it, it's going to be, whatever they're dealing with here, it's it's heavy stuff, okay? Um, but that's kind of what you're there for. And with the outcome being the Six of Swords, it's this is really, you could literally move towards them. Remember, they, they come in as the Queen of Pentacles. This might be a substantial person. I mean, if you're going to decide to move in, I mean, nine times out of ten, right? Nine, nine times out of a hundred, you're going to move into the one that has a nicer house. You're going to move into that one, right? So it could be just a situation like that. But I believe this is now you mentally moving towards them because once you fully understand what they're dealing with here, and they're dealing with something I want to say dangerous, if not like extraordinarily like a difficult, abusive, challenging energy. Um, and so once you kind of understand, I mean, see, even even the seven swords facing towards them, um, it's like you're going to your sympathy is going to go with them. And again, you're moving towards them. So in actions and in thoughts, I could literally see you sitting down and saying, OK, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I have a really good lawyer. We're going to call him and uh, we're going to take care of it that way. Here's what we're going to do um, in coming up with a detailed and strategic um, plan. Um, I, I know this is all like codependent. It's real life. It's relationships, how we learn and everything. You, you literally could be some kind of a, I just like the rescue by sea, like the Dunkirk, you know, saving the soldiers from the, being destroyed, all the boats going out, and just everybody that had a boat and going out and trying to, it's some kind of like an operation. This could be you putting together like a rescue operation. Yeah, well, okay. So uh, all of it's karmic, you know. Um, probably you owe them one, you know. And it's not about really debts or anything, just balancing the energy. And it's like maybe now when you come together, uh, you perfectly kind of balance that energy where maybe you kind of owed them one and now you did them one and now everything's good and you guys can move on, you know. But I just kind of see it as this kind of dynamic relationship with, with really you sort of taking the lead, Scorpio, in uh, numerous ways. Um, and it's sort of like if, if, you, uh, ha if you were foggy-minded or something or emotionally a little bit unclear... I think like by the time this and this goes down, it's like now you're just clear as a bell, right? Clear as a bell. So let me know what you think of this, guys. This is a complex read, Scorpio. I hope it's some kind of help moving forward. And I uh, do appreciate it. Smash the like. Comments are great. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'll try to get back with everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And hit the bell. Thank you, guys.